Hello, so basically, this is the car stock with the stock filter. So I'm gonna go manual mode, do a little pull. So it just sounds normal. It doesn't like, you know, you can't, all you hear is like engine noises and stuff like that, but nothing. Here. So all you can hear is the exhaust and like engine noises. I'll do some quick clips just to show outside the engine. Um, open one. What I'm going to be doing is getting rid of this um, OEM intake this pipe and also the turbo inlet which is back there it's like going into here um getting a new one installed getting and then yeah we'll see the sound difference and see if it you know reacts any better uh, this is following what we ordered which is the turbo inlet i'll get that out this Pipe, MTK, MTC Motorsport. It was a bundle on eBay, I believe. Okay. And for the intake, I went with the Ram Air. Ram mounts, Ram Air heat shields, and it's got the cone. So the Ram Air cone, we go like this. Replacing this cable, not cable, this tube. So I've unscrewed these bolts here, and now you can see the air filter. We're not changing this bit, actually, it's quite clean. We're just popping these bits here. So this one's already been popped out. Now there's one back here and one back there. So we have to just pull it up. Take this off. I'm to take this off. Right, yeah. Take this hose off. And from what I can see, I believe I've taken this. So. This in here. So what I had to do is actually just unscrew this, there's two screws here, one there and one there, pull this off and then basically take this little duct here and then it connects to the, the air box and now you can see it's loose and I can basically move it around. So what I'm going to have to do is unscrew that, that clip over there and then this should all just come off. With getting this, this clamp on screwed this managed to work i was using like folder ones and it just didn't work but yeah as, as i unscrewed this little bit managed to pull it off this can now come out and also the bottom this now comes out voila and that's the side and now this is just the open bay to pull this out now there's a massive hole and this is where the new heat shield's gonna go and the new intake and the next step is getting rid of the OEM turbo inlet. So there's some screws underneath, which I'm gonna have to access and then get this out. Um, gonna, I'll have to unplug this, which is going into the inlet. And then once this is out, I'm gonna need to install the new one. Let's stop that. So I will be replacing the OEM inlet with this MTC Motorsport inlet nice and silicone so that'll be going on and also replacing the OEM turbo inlet with this one this one is aluminium it's not plastic like the OEM one and um, it's also got bigger bigger holes so the air just goes straight through so yeah so this will be replacing that one cool. so after much haggling 
managed to get the turbo inlet out. This is the OEM, as you can see, and this is the new one. Um, I believe this one's like plastic, the OEM one. Uh, if you can see, the, obviously the, in, the it's big, it's the same size, but then it goes bigger, and also it's just going to be like smoother airflow. So let's see if that makes any difference. Um, yeah, I had to get rid of this screw over here, which hopefully it fits. So yeah, let's go and install it. So putting the new turbo inlet in, um, this hole needs to match the, the screw underneath. So what you do is simply push it in, make sure it's aligned, and then that should be it. Once you see the hole matching that hole, then what you do is you get this screw and you tighten it by hand. Careful if your turbo is on, it might still be hot. Just screw it. And I screwed in by hand, so I'm um, trying to tighten it up with the screw with the, the screwdriver. And yeah, <gasps> turbo has been secured in. You just have to get this pipe and it'll clip in. And there we go. You hear that clip, and that's successfully installed. So turbo inlet is in. I'll just get in the pipe, the inlet pipe, and the rest. So this inlet is the one going through the heat shields. Um, into the new ram air intake and then I'll have to put this and this together there's like a, there's an adapter which is here I think. and this will go in here and basically work like that something like that but you'll see when I do it uh, there's some some bungs here which need to be installed on the heat shield so that it goes into the the right spot and you see these clamps need to get put on here so that's what i'm going to do now so finally i have put all these rubbers on it was a bigger task than i thought as this is so stiff it's got metal in it like getting this to bend it was a really big pain if that's all done and now the next steps are basically just fitting it on um, you can see it's got all the rubber dinghies on it um and it should just fit in there now I'm going to put the pipes in and we'll see how that goes. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh. So, inlet pipe installed, turbo inlet installed, that's connected, these are tightened. Got a little adapter in there to hold um, the intake and this inlet and the whole intake installed, um, hose pipe connected and the last thing to do is just to put this back on. The, it, with the new intake God, that sounds good that sounds so good it's like as, when you rip and you let go it just goes whoosh. oh that sounds good this is the window open it sounds great now just driving in windows closed normal mode D just comfort and uh, not manual just auto just put like just accelerate and you hear everything all the wishes it's so so loud but it's actually nice loud obviously it's not obnoxious but you can hear it every time you accelerate you go, it's really loud open the windows manual mode
let go of the throttle. Yeah, that is so nice. Manual mode, you hear it every single time. Alright, windows closed. Oh my god, it's so much more audible when with, with windows closed. When those close, it's you can hear it so much better. When those closed, oh my God. <laughs> it sounds so good. Acceleration, yeah, even just a tiny bit of acceleration. You sh Automatic windows closed. That's crazy. I didn't expect it to like be this loud in just normal modes. It's actually mental. Just literally at two thousand RPMs. 